What's going on, YouTube? It's T-Nums again, and I'm back. I was in the middle of moving there for a couple days, but everything's here now. I just have a little bit more to organize, and then we're good to go. But I wanted to get a video to you guys in the meantime, so here's a breeding tip that I use while making a 2 times 31 breed to give it at least decent defensive stats and make it a semi-comp Pokemon for a lot cheaper than trying to go, like, 4 or 5 times 31 on the Pokemon. So follow me to the daycare we'll go through one of these in order to pick what we're going to breed for this video let's use a trick we used in a previous video by going to matchmaking sign up and going to statistics to see the most used pokemon currently let's build a garchomp because i actually don't have one currently maybe we'll keep it or sell it and if we don't sell it we'll check how much it could sell for in the end anyway but for a garchomp we're going to want a jolly nature, so that means this is going to want 31 attack and 31 speed. The first thing to do before any breed is going into the Pokedex, searching that Pokemon, and seeing what egg group it's in. Garchomp is in monster and dragon, and if we look at egg moves, it has metal claw and thrash. Neither are important, so we can skip the egg moves. We're going to want to search for a gibble. That is a female with 31 attack or 31 speed, whatever is cheaper. There's a 30k for attack. And there's 29.9k for speed. But we're not going to buy this just yet. Because what I do with every breed is I select 15 de special defense, 15 defense, and 15 HP. So there's one for 35k with 31 speed. And with 31 attack, there's one for 55k. We'll grab that 35k to give us a good baseline to start with. And now we can get either a monster or dragon egg type male breeder with the opposite 31, keeping the 15s in the defensive stats. So we're going to go 31 attack, and then we're going to go egg group. Monster to start, male. The lowest is going to be 12, around 12 to 15k. So then we can check... Where is it? Dragon. There's one for 6.3k. That's a no-brainer. I'm going to buy that for 6.3k, and we'll breed these together. Needing a power bracer for attack for 10k, and a power anklet for speed for 10k. And always double check that you're giving the Pokemon the correct bracer. Gibble needs speed, and Feebas needs attack. Breed these two together. And if we look at the stats page before breeding them, there's potential of 15 to 27 HP, 15 to 17 defense, and 18 to 21 special defense. So let this breed go through, make sure it's a female, and pay the extra 5k for that, and I'll see you in a couple minutes when this egg hatches. Actually, while waiting for that to hatch, we can go ahead and bring up our potential breeder for it by going gender male. Egg group is going to be a monster first. Nature is going to be jolly. And then we're going to put 15 HP, 15 defense, 15 special defense, and we'll start with 31 speed. The lowest price is going to be a 15k Whismer. That is very likely what we're going to buy. And then check the 31 attack. Yeah, let's get that Whismer. 15k and it's got 23, 30, and 22 defensive. Wow, that is a really good deal. All right, I'm going to buy that anyway. We can just cancel it out of the price if the Pokemon does end up being jolly, or I may just breed that in anyway because those were some pretty incredible defensive stats. The Gibble egg has hatched, and it is not jolly nature, so we are going to need to breed this again. But if we look at our stats, we have 27 HP, 16 defense, and 19 special defense, which are going to mix with 23 HP, 30 defense, and 22 special defense. But before I do this breed, I'm going to go get rid of the star on the OT by catching a gibble, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that I can confirm that it'll be my OT, let's buy an Everstone for saving the nature. We're just going to run us 5850, and then check which stat we're missing. We're going to need to save the attack on gibble. So we're going to get another power bracer for 10k. Equip the 
Everstone to Whismer. We equip the Power Warp Bracer to Gibble. And our breed will be complete after this. Go ahead and put up Whismer and the female Gibble, not the one we just caught. It's going to be guaranteed 31 speed, 31 attack, with potential 23 to 27 HP, 16 to 30 defense, and 19 to 22 special defense with a guaranteed jolly nature. Go ahead and accept the breed. And I may breed this further. I think I might keep this one. Actually, no, let's go with male, and then we could show the true price that this could sell for. And I'll keep this the way it is anyway. It doesn't need to be bred any further. The final egg hatched, and we have our Jolly 31 attack, 31 speed Gibble that ended up with 25 HP, 23 defense, and 22 special defense. Just by paying attention to having 15 plus defensive stats when searching for Pokemon, a lot of people will list those Pokemon without even paying attention to anything more than the 31 stat that they have, even with natures. Sometimes you'll get a really good deal on a Pokemon with the exact nature you want. Adding up the cost of everything, there was a 35k Gibble, a 6.3k Feebas, 20k on the Bracers to put those together, 5k to keep the gender, and then I bought a 15k Whismur, a 5,850 Pokeyen Everstone, 10k on another Bracer, and then 5k to make it a male to finish the breed, giving us a grand total of 102,150 Pokeyen spent on this. Now if we check its stats, we got 25 HP, 23 defense, and 22 special defense. So if we go into the GTL, we can enter those stats as a male because this would sell as a breeder. We'll put all of these as just 20 on average. 31 speed, 31 attack, jolly nature, Egg group monster first. The lowest price would be 222k with a follow up of 360k. So who knows if those could sell. And then if we go to dragon, we'll see a little more reasonable price range. Around eh, 200k I could see it selling for. And then we can do one more thing. Searching just Garchomp. If I were to level this up, I could potentially sell this for 600k. These are pretty similar statted. Garchomps to where mine's at. But like I said, I'm going to keep this Gibble and train it up into a semi-comp Garchomp and see how I can do in some OU PvP later on maybe. Let me know if this guide helps you out with making some better competitive Pokemon or even storyline Pokemon. 2x31s aren't very expensive to build and they're very beneficial to have the stats they have. Drop me a like and a subscribe if you guys enjoy my content and there's plenty more to come. Later.